about how we have been established by God to defend the true faith when it looks like there's hardly any church that's standing up for what we believe. And we don't do anything but teach what thus saith the Lord. Amen. So again, many come and many leave. Uh, but God proves the character of the individual by how that individual conducts his life after he has been water baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. And again, you see the wisdom of God. He never judges a person before they have confessed and been water baptized. Then he judges. But people today, I don't know what what are they are seeking. One thing is for certain, I would be afraid to play church. I mean, that, 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 that goes by me. Man, I'd hide under the bed every time a thunderstorm came. Man, goodness sake, did some people, I believe, that they would steal out the blind man's car. Hallelujah. And nevertheless, we have pressed on through the year yes. and we will receive our reward. Yes. Now, uh, let's prepare ourselves for the uh, foot washing, I think, at this time. Also, oh, well, let's form a line. Let me pray uh, a prayer of faith. So anyone who may have made a mistake yesterday, <laughs> God is going to forgive them. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Yeah. And if they have committed a sin, their sin shall be forgiven them. I know it was the blood. Yes, well. <laughs> sacrifice that God made at Calvary. Yes. The wine is for his blood and mm -hmm. the, the bread or cracker is for his body. Mm -hmm. And again, he said, whenever you do it, do it in remembrance of me. Mm -hmm. Now the Catholic Church has a game they play and they do it every first Sunday. 
Right. But the Bible didn't, didn't say do it every first Sunday. Man. It said we do it. Yes. Do it in the name of me. Mm -hmm. And we want to take part in the foot washing first. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, in the secular churches, they don't uh, believe in foot washing. Mm -hmm. But Jesus told Peter, I don't wash your feet. You have no part with me. Man. So we're going to do according to what the Bible has instructed mm -hmm. and be glad therein. Right. So everybody's been anointed with oil. Mm -hmm. All sins are remitted for the record. You are able to now take part in these sacraments. So let's pair off uh, my two and let's continue with the foot washing. Bam. Bam. Know it was the blood. Yes. I know it was the blood. All right, y'all may be seated. We're going to hear uh, two minute sermonettes by the ministry. Uh, we're going to call up. Let's call up. Evangelist Rogers for two minutes. Amen. Followed by Evangelist Wagner, followed by uh, Minister Green, and followed by Elder Smiley, followed by Elder Kenya, in, this, in that order so far. Amen. Praise the Lord, giving all glory, honor, and praises to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, truly the head of my life, double and in honors yeah. to God's true end times of the apostle, Prophet H. Walker, to the blessed memory and legacy of First Black Lady Mother Walker. I give equal honors. I give honors to whom honors are due, greeting all the household of faith with love and admiration in Jesus' name. Um, all the preachers of the gospel, yeah. I've, uh, it's just a blessing to be here in God's true remnant, Acts 238 Church. Yeah. Once again, under God's true and only righteous prophet of God, Prophet H. Walker, a wonderful soul-saving man, you know, who is out for the soul of a sinner to be saved and not to be lost like these false preachers out here. I just thank and praise God for that. I thank and praise God for all that he's done for us. And, you know, uh, I'll try to keep it to what's left of two minutes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, in Psalms 4, if we take a look, it says in verse 2, verse 3, but now... Or rather, but know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. So, you know, I thank and praise God that he set true light apart for himself. And we are truly his servants in the Lord, under his main man servant in the Lord, Prophet H. Walker. We follow after the prophet who teaches the truth of God's word without compromise. And, you know, we have something to be very, very happy about don't want to use the word proud, but for lack of a better word, very proud about, you know, our prophet has an excellent character before God. You know, there's nothing in his, nothing in his closet but the Holy Ghost. And I thank and praise God for that. And I thank and praise God for all the saints upholding the bloodstained banner of Christ without compromise for the Lord, bringing us to another new year to worship him and praise him even more so in this new year. Pray my strength in the Lord. Coming here, amen. amen. Giving our honor to Jesus and telling my life, our honor. Come on, the bishop, Prophet Walker, who's dedicated, faithful, so out to Jesus, honor. She's just like, like Lady Mother Walker, who led yeah. to the example of a holy entourage. Let's do thank God for the blessed time we're having tonight. Thank God that another year with our prophet, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for just uh, being here another year. A lot of people from seven miles to eight miles to South Carolina. Didn't want me to be here, but I'm still here. I right. see you on the YouTube. I'm still here because I want to be here with other people say, because I chose this life. But I thank God for choosing the life and a true man of God the Lord had blessed me with. But I'm going to close. I'm gonna, uh, this I had read years ago. It said, and hopefully the new year we come and be aware of your thoughts. They become your words. Be aware of your words. They may become your actions. Be aware of your actions, for they become habits. Be aware of your habits. They become character. Be aware of your character. For it becomes you. Yes. I'm going to close in uh, Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee. And that's all we need to do is keep our mind on Jesus and trust in him through the man of God. And it's all right. Amen. Pray my strength to the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord again. We all honor our praise of the Lord, our Heavenly Father, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, to the head of our life. 
Double fist to the face, the double honor, double praise, one copy of the offer. Good honor and praise, entire house over the face, honor and praise to our beloved mother, France, honor and praise to our beautiful, blessed wife and holiness, honor and praise where honor and praise is due. Uh, it never gets old. I will always want to thank God for bringing myself and each and every one of my brothers and sisters out of the darkness into the marvelous light, bringing us to a true double Lord, prophet of the Lord that's brought us up the mountain with him to keep us alive. Lord. He's never failed God, and he's going to still it in us to never fail God. And we thank you so much for our prophet. We love you so very much for our prophet. Uh, we love you more than anything, Lord Jesus. We pray that we never let you down again, because we've done so over many times in times past. Um, we're grateful that you tarried us uh, for another new year to come, to see us all here so we can praise and worship you the way you should be praised and worshipped. Not like those false churches. Um, thank you, I thank you, Lord, for the foot washing. Uh, I thank you for everything that you instilled in each and every one of us to fight this faith, uh, the true fight of faith. Um, um, prophets, you know, told us, you know, cowards not apply. And, you know, I can speak for myself. I know I'm not a coward, and I know each and every one of my brothers and sisters is a coward. So, you know, we are told that we must endure, we must stand strong and courageous, we must live godly in Christ, in Christ. You know, we must be holy and sanctified. Being holy and sanctified ain't just words. We must live holy in Christ. We have to let our old selves go and live in a new life. Um, you know, we have to always fight that good fight of faith like uh, the apostles did and so that we can see God's face of peace in the end. And, you know, uh, because of prophets' teachings and because of what God did for us at Calvary, we should be able to do it. So I'm thankful for it every day. Pray my strength in the Lord. Lord, amen. Another day in holiness. Amen. Something to be glad about. Amen. Give a double honor to God uh, first, who is the ultimate finisher of my faith. Uh, double honor to God's true prophet, Bishop Prophet H. Walker. First and next lady, Mother Walker. Thank God for all the preachers in the household of faith. Amen. Everything that transpired over uh, the year 2023. Thank God for the victories over everything amen. the devil did threw at us. Amen. amen. For more victories to come. Amen. In 2024. Thank God for God answering my prayer. Be prophet with us another year. Amen. amen. I'm just uh, I'm so honored. And uh, it, it's really a blessing yeah. for us to, to take in everything that we have learned yeah. from prophet over this year. And, and I'm telling you, continue to apply it day in and day out and see how God has blessed us. We, I'm looking forward to that that uh, True Light Trucking business this year, amen, amen. coming up. Amen. We got it in Jesus' name, amen. amen. To bless the kingdom and the, the family, amen. And we got work to do, amen. We can't get tired. 2024, we should be like Prophet brought out uh, Wednesday, uh, uh, Friday, a little sharper, amen, a little stronger, more backbone, more faith, amen. We got to fight, amen. We got to love each other harder. We got to tell these people a little bit more, uh, more in depthness with God, amen. We got to stay at the mountain a little bit more, amen, this year. Stay in our Bibles a little bit more. Stay on our knees, amen. Thank God for Prophet. Thank him for being, man, with us a whole nother year. Thank God for us being with each other another year and holiness. Pray my ships, I pray you. Thanksgiving all under Jesus Christ. I'm my to my proper Walker, and Mother Walker, and only a wonderful member of Mother Smith, all the elders, ministers, teachers, veggies, princes, everyone in God's house, amen. And now we're going to call up all the licensed ministers. Okay, okay, then. Praise the Lord, Saints. Praise the Lord. That is what we praise. I think we get to hear that the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray that I'm going to honor the double on the one, Prophet H. Walker. That's what I'm going to walk in. Two men and God. Two men and woman and God. Indeed, I believe the word says, Stephen, a fair highly for a labor's sake. Give out to your hierarchy. Honor to wander is due. Let's give Prophet a hand. A very powerful and prolific and wise way to do this. I just thank God for the dawning of a new year. Thank God. One more year with my spiritual daddy. One more year with my beautiful church family. I thank God for my beautiful daughter. And man, she's been such a blessing to me. All my beautiful uh, church family been such a blessing to me. You know, I just was re reflecting on 2 Timothy. We must endure hardness as a good soldier. And we don't worry about no man that tangled himself with the affairs of his life. You can't win Christ. Only if you go, if you strive lawfully. We must have that testimony of Paul. I've kept the faith. I fought a good fight. And I've kept the faith. Paul went through a whole lot. We, we watch our great leader. Prophet goes through a lot. Moses went through a lot. Paul went through a lot. Peter went through a lot. All the apostles died a gruesome death. 
But we're going to die spiritually. But we're we not looking back. As Paul said, we press forward towards that mark. And that mark right now is to get to heaven right. under one prophet H. Walker. Pray for me as I pray for you. Still thank God for another new year and holiness. Thank God for um, all the remarks before me. Thank God for the opening remarks from the prophet. We thank God for the prophets for another new year. Uh, new Year's Eve, New Year's. Thank God for just everything that transpired in 2023. Thank God for everything that's gonna transpire in 2024. Amen. We thank God for the prophet because he is a leader that we can follow. Um, we know his character for the leaders. That's why. Uh, lately, Prophet has been taking on the topic of character. We know the character of the Prophet and that uh, he's going to teach people the truth. Amen. So we thank God for the Prophet. Thank God for the Wash Night service tonight. And thank you very much for the Ken and Deacon Josh. Is anyone else a mint licensed minister? Mm -hmm. Okay. Praise the Lord, true like God. I thank God for our prophet, hallelujah, and I give him double in all honor. We have a true man of God, hallelujah. We should be thankful and grateful about it. You know, the way the world is right now, so many, the news, you know, goodness. Destruction, violence, killings, the government is crazy. Everybody going crazy. The false churches is yeah. going crazier. And these hypocrite <coughs> preachers is good. They leading everybody to make fire. Oh, yeah. We have the true prophet, so we, I'm happy about it, Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, and I want to tell everybody here that stay encouraged, keep the faith. Yeah. This new year is going to be a blessing because right. we still here. The devil said that we wasn't gonna make it, but we still here. How we are? I will test the problems, you know. And giving us left, left and right, but we still here. Hallelujah. Right. <laughs> you know, and I'm gonna tell everybody, stay encouraged and keep the faith. Amen. Amen. Great prophet, fearless leader, Prophet Bishop H. Walker, we, who we love so much. And uh, beautiful late lady, Mother Walker, we bless God for her. And uh, I'm just so glad. And uh, I mean, I'm just I'm just totally encouraged. And to my beautiful wife and to all the household of faith. And just thank God for being here tonight. And this, uh, this powerful testimony that God has blessed us to, have, to make it. Well, I mean, this year hasn't ended officially yet, but we believe it. Hallelujah. We're going to make it to this one and many more if we want to do so. Amen. But there's one scripture I just want to read. And I believe it's taken in the book of Peter. A powerful scripture that uh, the Lord sh showed me. All right. Uh, in the book of Peter, in 1 yeah. Peter uh, 1 and 8, it says, yeah. Whom having not seen, mm -hmm. we love. Yes. Right. Good gracious. We love Jesus with all of our heart. That's why we're here. He chose the people to love him, not to disrespect him or not love him, in whom though now we see him not, not in the natural, but we can feel him when we come to church. Man, we're yeah. singing and shouting and before we even get here, glad to get to church. That's what God wants. Though we see him not, yet believing with all of our hearts, I mean believing to the saving of the soul, you rejoice, oh Lord. Man, somebody right. said, why do people over? I hear all cars going by. Don't you hear that? What's going on over there? You remember the children of Israel when they were, I got to go, but the children of Israel when they were leaving Egypt, they were sc screaming and shouting. Yeah. The people said, tell me. And then, remember when Jesus was going through and they put them garments down and they said, tell your apostles to shut up. He said, if, I, if they shut up, the rocks will cry out. We rejoice when we come to church. Out there, the sisters with the veil on. I thought I got to go, but we have a good time. So be encouraged. Stay positive. God loves you. We love you too. I just want to do I just want to thank God for 
allowing us to see a new year because he didn't have to let us but i thank god that we are here in church because we could be anywhere right now but we are in church instead of you know out there where other people are right now getting drunk being with their friends being with their family doing something they shouldn't be doing i'm thankful that we're in church and i just want to um, go to you know one of prophet's favorite scriptures and one of mine too in deuteronomy 7 and 6 just to remember you know we are chosen by god we are the church of god for thou art an holy people unto the lord thy god the lord thy god hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the, upon the face of the earth i just want to thank god that we are that chosen people we are the true light and pray much for the lord and any other licensed ministers I'd like to call you up anyone else okay I don't want to miss anybody okay amen thank God for all the wonderful words and that God has brought out to the spirit amen and I, I don't have a lot to say but one thing was on my heart but it was about uh, you know how we made the choice you can't have it both ways oh, yes it's, for a few uh, brief remarks Okay. Elder Brooks. All right. Thank you. 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 And thank God once again for dawning of a new year. Amen. Last year was a blessing. But this year is going to be even more of a blessing in Jesus' name. You know, whatever we didn't get last year, by faith, we can going claim it this year in Jesus' right. name. You know, but yeah. the main thing is your soul salvation. You know, that's the main thing, you know, to stay safe, you know, and stay rooted and grounded because we know all the desolation and what's going on in the world. But thank God that we done hear it ourselves. You know, we got to stay here. You know, right. I know I'm so very glad to be in church tonight. I remember <laughs> not too far back. <laughs> the first time I'll be at a disco. But, but, I, but I'm still dancing. But now I'm just dancing for Jesus. Right. <laughs> I'm dancing for the devil no more. I done got rid of that devil. So I got a great, greatly to be praised. Love the prophet in Jesus' name. Love all my brothers and sisters in the Lord. One family in Christ Jesus. Pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen. went before me, giving honor to Christ, who is my life. Double and all honor to the man, so everyone pop Walker. you walk. Make sure you mug your walk, little memory legacy. Honor to what I have to do. Thank God for, again, as been forestated, a new year come upon us. And I thank God that. We in holiness. Oh, yeah, right. As you know, it's a more <laughs> breakdown. Now they allowing men to, trans men to fight women in boxing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They still hold these um, Satan clubs and schools. See, when Prophet <laughs> had that vision from 20 odd years ago about the Christian Academy, yeah, now, right. now you see. Amen. The devil won't teach your kids after school. Thank God for Prophet. Thank God for his vision. Which leading to my little short scripture I want to go to quickly in 2 Chronicles. All right. Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ. You have to have a spiritual leader to guide the people. Because the Bible says, well, there's no vision, the people perish. Mm -hmm. But 2 Chronicles 20, and I believe that's verse 20. And they rose... Early in the morning, went forth in the waters of the court, and they went forth. Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. The only way we can prosper spiritually is to believe and follow our great prophet H. Walker as he follows Christ. And it's so very, so very important for us to stand and fight. And let our light shine, yeah. our character shine, because this world is in total chaos. Men want to be women, women want to be men, making little boys girls, making little girls boys. Thank God for holiness, thank God for his divine order. Thank God for prophets, courage, 
the fight. Even though YouTube take us off, Papa's still fighting. He ain't gonna change. He ain't gonna compromise. He ain't gonna take down. And we ain't gonna compromise. And we ain't gonna take down. Looking forward to get everything we didn't get this year in 2024. Be blessed. Now, this time we're going to take part in the uh, last part of the sacraments. Yes. And so let's line up accordingly. church first. Amen. Everything else comes second. The church of God comes first. And he will bless us as he has done this year. My goodness, he blesses us above measure. We are still fighting the good fight of faith. And glad there is. When we see them come and go, we just look and wonder. You try to figure it out. You know, sister, trying to figure it out. Right, right. Amen. One thing is for certain. If you don't have a sincere heart, when the word of God hits you, you're going to stay and get right Amen. or leave and get gone. Amen. And you can't, no, the devil cannot handle the word of truth. Amen. So uh, let's uh, thank God again and let's uh, be mindful of how he brought us from a long way. Yeah. And 
we still got a little bit further to go. But if we made it last year, hey, we can make it next year. Glory, hallelujah. Glory is he that is in us and he that is in the world. Glory, hallelujah. So again, brothers, just be encouraged. And if you can, pat yourself on the back. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you made it. You fought the devil and won. I want everyone to be encouraged because we don't have no sad story tonight. We're doing that too. And it's not an easy thing fighting the devil every day. But you did it. All right. All right. You, you got a medal. All right. And medal for bravery. All right. For courage. Yes. Yeah. And what that medal get, give you when you get wounded in, in action? Heart, the purple, purple heart. heart. Yeah. A whole lot of us got a purple heart. A time or two. Right. Yeah. So again, I want everyone to feel encouraged. Yes. Now I want to hear from the bells. I want to hear um, places I can go, followed Amen. by their own selection. Amen. A and B selection, first places I can go, and whatever yeah. they decide to sing. Also, uh, followed by the prophet's band, A selection, whatever they choose.
took a music lesson right. in their life. Right. Man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that instrument, the trombone, is probably the most difficult instrument to play. Because you don't have no key that you can press to get the tone. You gotta you gotta slide and get that right that right position on that slide. And uh, I, I just admire what God has done for the fucking band. I'm think, thinking of a passage of scripture in the book of Daniel. Uh, don't have to necessarily go there. But at a time like this, when decisions is so important on this journey, the three Hebrew boys were faced with a situation, and the Bible says they were in like fashion as we. In other words, they're human beings just like we are, and, and don't nobody want to die. All right. Amen. I don't care how bad you want to go to heaven, don't nobody want to die. Amen. Now, the king had made a golden idol, and the decree came that everyone had to worship and bow down before this golden idol. Y'all know the story. But when it got to Meshach and Abednego and who was the other one? Shadrach. They said, well, King, uh, we respect you. The term was used, live forever, which is a form of respect for the higher authority uh, being the king. And they said, we have carefully considered the matter. Hallelujah. And we decided we're not going to bow. Amen. No worship the golden idol. Amen. And so they knew the punishment for 
not obeying the king's decree. And that was to be thrown into the fiery furnace. Yeah. Yeah. And what is so important about the story, they were looking at that fiery furnace, but they said we had decided, hallelujah, that we're not going to bow. We're not going to compromise. Isn't that true like today? We look at all those situations and how they hate us and how they talk about us, and, but we still have not bowed. Right. And we're not going to bow. That's right. Right. Now, when the king followed uh, his mandate and threw them in the fiery furnace, he said, look, I put three in there, but lo, I see a fourth one. Amen. And the fourth one looked like the Son of God. Right. Now, wait a minute. We got a Godhead debate here. Right. The fourth one looked like the Son of God. Right. But Mary wasn't born. Hallelujah. Amen. So who was the Son of God? He's talking about God incarnate. Yes. God in personality form. Yes. Oh, we know he was in personality form. Because he said, I see a fourth one. Yes. Hallelujah. Right. Yes. So I thank God for being with us. And he'll continually be with us. Yes. And I thank God also that we know the difference between Son of God and Mary's baby. Right. Now Mary's baby was referred to as the son of God. Yes. But also I think in verse 23 of Matthew's uh, gospel in chapter 1, yes. I think his name shall be called what? Emmanuel. Emmanuel which being interpreted God was. Hallelujah. So still that son was still God. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. So again, the Godhead is really that, it's complex, but it's really not as complex as people would have it to be. Right. Now, you know, Jesus gave a teaching and it's very deep teaching. He told his disciples, I speak in parables. They asked him a question, why are you speaking parables? He said that they that don't believe will not hear and believe and obey. Yeah. Lest right. any time I should save them. Yeah. Right. Now that's deep. Right. Which is to say, it's not for the unbeliever. Amen. Because the unbeliever is not going to believe. Nope. So how am I going to save them? Yeah. <laughs> so we thank God that we heard the word and we came running into the church. Maybe, maybe some of them come running, but we came. All right. yeah. 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 I care who beat me here. I'm here. Right. Hallelujah. And they ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Y'all are one of the testify, I'm, I'm here and I ain't going nowhere. Amen. Amen. So church, uh, we take the example of others before us who are faced with difficult problems, yet still are not going to compromise the word of God. And sometimes we ask the question, why, why is this, uh, uh, why is it necessary to wear head cover? Why, what's wrong with women wearing pants? What's wrong with men wearing a dress? All right. All right. It's not, it's not, it, it's not proper. Amen. And besides, you don't question why you obey. Amen. You, you obey the rule, the directive, you right. obey it. You don't question how come. Amen. Oh, Christmas, such a, such a sweet spirit, but it's still a false spirit. That's right. Did not the Bible say the angel come disguised of what? Angel of light. That's deep. He looks like the real thing. But inwardly, he's a counterfeit spirit. So what we have to do is understand what looks nice and sounds sweet. Oh, Christmas carols, are they so sweet? Silent night and holy night. There ain't nothing holy about it. We have to get drunk. Hallelujah. Looking for another glass. Look what they're doing, getting ready to do tonight. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, well, I guess they're drunk by now. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't waiting to have another drink. They're already, they're, they're ready for that. Uh, New York, they're going to drop that big balloon down. And they don't know, understand what that balloon is all about. They think it's joy for the coming year. They ain't nothing but death and destruction for this coming year. Wars and rumors of wars. 
I just saw the news tonight where they shot down three of those uh, missiles that were coming to attack the private transports that go between in that uh, Mediterranean Sea, I guess. Yeah. And uh, so they killed all of the pirates that the Islamic Jihad forces ended up trying to fight, you know. But this, the Bible says there's going to be wars and rumors of wars. Amen. If you stop this one, there's still going to be another one. Yes. Because God is at war with the devil. And the devil is on his job. But God's on his job too. Yes. And that's why we got worried about all these events that are taking place. Yep. All we're going to do is get ourselves rooted and grounded in the church of God and stay there. Amen. Amen. I'm looking forward to the new year. Hallelujah. Got my boxing gloves on now. Come on, Devil. We do another round. I won the last one. I'm gonna win the next one. Hallelujah. You've got to be encouraged to understand. God has put something down on the inside of you, and yeah. that's his spirit. And you cannot neglect the spirit of truth and righteousness. Be prepared for this coming year. Amen. And be prepared for another battle. Because right. it's not going to be settled till we get to glory. Right. So we are soldiers. Yes. You know what Paul said? Amen. We're soldiers in the army of the Lord. Right. And a soldier does what? Fight. Fight. Right. Right. So devil, the coming year, bring it on. That's right. All right. Yeah. Charge up. He then took part in the sacraments right, to the glory of God, had yeah. our feet washed, hallelujah. Yeah. We ready to we ready to fight. Yeah. 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 And all it takes is belief. Yes. Yes. Jesus said, He that believeth and is baptized the same shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be lost. I thank God we believe. Amen. So as long as we hold our our same quality of character yes. through the belief, through instructions, by following the Bible, Amen. brothers and sisters, this year is going to be better than last year. Yes. And if we won the victory last year, we're going to win the victory next year. So let's understand we're on a mission. And that mission is for God. Amen. And we're not going to let him down. Right. Can everybody say amen? Amen. All right. Amen. All right. Uh, let, let me hear. Uh, I think I want to hear a solo from Evangelist Rogers. Saw the lightning flashing. Amen.
never to leave me alone. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he kept that promise. We see, we're going to move uh, Minister Green up to the position of Elder Green at this time. Right. Right. Thank you. This is his second communion. He's been with us. Amen. So, amen. He's showing great progress. Mm -hmm. and yeah. All right. Continue to show great progress. Amen. As all of us will in this coming year. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to ask uh, Mother had a favorite song. What was that song? Uh, my sheep. My sheep. My sheep. My sheep. Now, uh, it's beautiful in two-part harmony. Do you know that song, Evangelist? Not the entire. I don't know the entirety of it. I don't know all the words. But you think you can follow in harmony with her? I can definitely try it. <laughs> let's, let's try it. Yeah. My sheep. That was Mother's favorite song. Yeah. <laughs> Church, I mean, well, Smile, we haven't heard for you. Come on, give your testimony. Hallelujah. Followed by Evangelist Evans' testimony. testimony. He's been in the faith and I thank God for him. He's been a blessing to me yes. and to everybody here and for everybody right. who's not even here. He's been a blessing right. to this world. Right. You know? right. He's been truly a blessing. And I want to honor you right now by being a man of God, Amen. teaching us the word of God yes. and your testimony. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. I'd be lost. And I thank you, Prophet, for your love that you have for true life, for each and every one of us, and for me. Amen. Amen. I just want to thank God for the victory on the job. Hallelujah. Amen. I need to find a new one, but I'm, I'm thanking God for it. Hallelujah. And I, I was at work yesterday, and she came to me with some negative report, and I had to give her a negative report. I said, uh, you know, I'm, by me being a holiness, I'm a special person, like the Bible say, you know. I'm not going to be taking advantage, because this is a new year, hallelujah. I'm stronger, I'm wiser, and, um, you know, of course, beautiful, but, um, <laughs> you know, um, I'm like, oh, this, this is legal. 
of people in this world is not going to take advantage of a child God, you know. And I'm not going to take it no more. I'm just for real. I can find me a better job. There's so many jobs I'm doing. I'm making my own job. I'm trying to get the money for the kingdom. I don't need nobody to sell my hours. Don't play with my money. I'm trying to be a blessing to the church. Like, God's been a blessing to me. And then everybody here been a blessing to me. I hear everybody testimonies. Everybody else blessed. Everybody, you know, they curse if you teaching the word of God. Thank you for it. Hallelujah. I'm right down the scripture. If you think I'm listening to it and I'm chewing coming down, hallelujah. Thank God for it. Hallelujah. If you playing in the band, I thank God for it because you're playing for the Lord. Hallelujah. God, like I said, everybody stay in church and keep your faith. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for saving us and keeping us. And we're double thinking uh, the prophet for all the blessings. For all the blessings that he has taught us through the years because of the spirit that the Lord had given him. Thank you for that. Because all of us would not be saved if it wasn't for the prophet. Because at some point in our life, we had heard the prophet some kind of way. Somebody testified or just heard him on TV, heard him on the radio. And that's what drew us to the church. And that's what keeps us in the church because we know that um, he teaches the word and he teaches us to keep the word and to be saved and to, and to uh, stand strong in the Lord because without it, the strength that we have learned from him, we would be nowhere and pray my strength to the Lord. from our new sister that we love very much, uh, sister. Everything that he has taught you. So, um, Joy, you're really cute, but I am the baby of the family. I just have to say that. <laughs> I'm, staying. I'm staying with the family. I'm happy here. Uh, I'll be less nervous at some point, but right now, I am so happy and a little nervous. <laughs> and thank you, Teresa, for all that you teach me. I, I, I noticed when she came to us, she, she wasn't walking too good. Uh, now she, hey, she walking real good. Now. I think we'll go down in prayer and pray the, the new year in at this time. Amen.